Hey everyone, in this video we will learn about a really nice feature in test automation with Java called WebDriver Manager. If you are new here, make sure to click the subscribe button. The WebDriver Manager is a library that handles the management of the binary drivers required by Selenium WebDriver. For example, Chrome Driver, Geeko Driver and so on. You probably know that in order to run and execute tests in browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Internet Explorer and so on, you have to download a driver that allows WebDriver to handle the browser. In Java, you don't have to only download the driver, but you have to set the path to this driver as a JVM property. From time to time, you also have to replace the driver file with its newer version, otherwise it will suddenly stop working, becoming incompatible with the new releases of the browser. Personally, I noticed that this kind of scenarios are more and more frequently encountered in the Chrome browser. To check the current version of the Chrome browser, click the three dot button, help about Google Chrome. It seems like it's up to date, having it to 81. To check the Chrome driver, simply search Chrome driver on Google and click the first result. Because the browser has 81, I should use the same for the Chrome driver as well. To avoid all these checks, this is where the Chrome driver manager comes to the rescue performing in an automated way all this dirty job for us. It can be used in multiple ways, but for now let's work with it as a Java dependency. For this video, I have prepared the classic Maven project in which I included the Selenium and TestNG dependencies. We have a test that will access Google homepage and make an assertion on its title. If we run the test, we will receive an error because the driver path is not set. This is how the path error looks like. A quick fix for this error would be adding a system.setProperty method that points to the Chrome driver's path. By doing that, it will work for now, but tomorrow or in a few days, if the Chrome browser gets a major update, I will face another error that will make me download a new version of Chrome driver. The fix should look like this. But for example purpose, I currently set it to point to an outdated Chrome driver incompatible with the current browser version. Let's see the error. As you can see, it failed again, saying that this version of Chrome driver only supports Chrome version 78. Comment this out again. So, in order to avoid all these things, the starting point is including the WebDriver Manager dependency in our project. To do that, we can simply copy it from mavenrepository.com. Let's delete this comment. So, 
because we are intending to use a Chrome driver, we just need to add this line of code just above the Chrome driver instantiation. And this is it. Now it will use the latest version of the Chrome driver. Run the test. And it passed. Based on your needs, you can simply choose another uh, driver just by simply saying web driver manager dot so it shows lots of possibilities like you can use chromium driver edge driver firefox driver internet explorer opera phantom js and so on but for now uh, let's stick with uh, the chrome driver in this state the web driver manager will always use the latest version of the Chrome driver, but it allows us to set a specific driver version. For example, let's copy the version of uh, the Chrome browser. And it will be driver version and pass it as an argument dot setup. Rerun the test and it should pass. And another way would be to set in the web driver manager the version of the browser itself. Chrome driver dot browser version which will be 81 dot setup in this case the web driver manager will pick a Chrome driver which is compatible with this version of, uh, of Chrome run the test and it should pass again The generic driver manager can be also parameterized using the enumeration driver manager type, for instance, as it follows. To increase the readability, we can import it static. Or we can uh, delete this unused import and write like this. Before we end up this tutorial, 
I will say that the relationship between the browser version and the driver version is uh, managed in an internal database called Resolution Cache. Uh, this is represented by a file which is stored in um, M2 repository web driver and uh, this resolution dot properties the validity of this relationship is limited by a time to live value and by default this value is uh, one day <laughs> 